It is time for the faith walk of the day. And I want to talk about walking in faith. What does that look like? What does that mean? I know I talk about faith. I talk about believing a lot. Um, and I know a lot of people say they have faith, but people have circumstantial faith. And circumstantial faith is very different from believing point blank, blank period, whenever, however, not being swayed by what happens, not being bothered or moved by what you see, but standing so firmly in what you believe God said. And here's the deal. It's hard to do that if you don't know what God said. If you don't read his word, if you haven't spent any time with the Father, if you haven't spent any time in his presence, then your confidence is, is low. It's the same way as if you're in a relationship with someone and you never have, an, have a heart to heart with them and you never have a moment, you know that moment where you really feel connected, you won't trust what they have to say. So if you've never allowed yourself to get so engrossed in the presence of God or worship or allowed yourself to just release and believe, it's going to be hard for you to believe and have faith in that way. So when the adversity and the trials of life come, it's easy for you to trust your doubt more than your faith. What do you trust more? What do you believe first, your doubt or your faith? In order to trust your faith and to build your faith, I know people say, if you have faith the size of the grain of the mustard seed, but I don't want mustard seed faith. I want big faith. I want massive faith. I want to believe God for incredible. I want to believe him for the exceedingly, abundantly, above all I could ever ask or dream that his word says I can have. But only if you have faith, only if you truly believe in him. And so sometimes you have to move the other things out of your way. You have to remove the things that will cause you to doubt. You have to focus on what he said and not what you see. Because sometimes what you see is not always what you're going to get. Well, it is what it is. I'm not one of those people that are realistic. I'm a miracle person. So I believe in miracles. I believe in supernatural. I believe God's going to blow my mind. I expect big things. I expect the unexpected. I walk forward knowing that God has great things for me. I am not the kind of person that someone tells me something great. And I immediately, in front of somebody saying something great to me, attach something negative to it. But what if you don't? Well, you know, people don't really, they don't really believe. They ain't going to let us. Don't. That's not faith. That's doubt. That's fear. And anything that's not faith is fear. Call it what you want, anxiety and all of that, but it's fear. And God didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave us power, love, and a sound mind. So if you're new to this, if you're uh, just getting into faith, if you're just getting into a relationship with Christ, take the time to build your relationship with him, with God, with the Father. Get in the Word. Spend time in worship so your heart can be open to receive and hear and believe Everything that he said. All things are possible to them that believe. That's one of my favorite scriptures, Mark 9 and 23. What do you believe? Do you believe all things are possible? Do you believe you can do all things through Christ? You've got to believe. I want you to believe. I'm praying that you believe so you receive all that God has for you. So no matter what you face, you stand firm in your faith, in your trust in God. All right? That's my faith walk for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Love you, and I mean it.